Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus. Quick question for you. How many of us want to be great? Now it's fair to say that most of us do, whether it's at home, at work, or even in our church life as followers of Christ. And can I say that there is nothing wrong with wanting to be great or striving for greatness or even having that desire. But as followers of Jesus Christ, we have to know what it means to be great in the kingdom of God according to the scriptures. So let's go to the Bible. Mark chapter 9, starting at verse 33, says this. And they came to Capernaum. And when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you discussing on the way? But they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was going to be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, if anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child, and he put him in the midst of them. And taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. You see, Jesus had been traveling with his apostles and telling them that he's going to be delivered into the hands of men, that they're going to kill him, but that he's going to rise three days later. Jesus is literally telling them the most important event that is about to ever happen, and the apostles are arguing about status, about rank, about who is going to be, uh, get the better position in the church. So Jesus sits down and he teaches them, and he's teaching us today what it means to be great in the kingdom of God. Because the apostles had this worldly view of how to achieve greatness. You see, the world defines greatness as being superior or being better than others. Ever heard the term or the word climbing the corporate ladder? Stepping on others to elevate yourself? Arguing for position? You see, that's a worldly view. And Jesus teaches us what it means to be great in God's kingdom, and he totally flips the script on how we view greatness according to the word of God. If any of you would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And as his followers, we are to put the interests of others above our own. So instead of climbing the corporate ladder, we should be holding the ladder for others to go first and wiping it down occasionally. And to drive the point home, of who we are to be in Christ and what is expected of us, Jesus puts a child in the midst of them and says, whoever receives such child in my name receives not only me, but the one who sent me. In other words, when we serve and welcome people simply because they are people made in the image of God, taking no consideration whether they can do something for us or not. And when we do that, we welcome Jesus and not only him, but God who sent him. You notice Jesus didn't tell them, not to strive for greatness, but what he does is he tells them to redirect it from self to others. Being a servant is who we are called to be. Serving others isn't just something we do when we sign up for a particular event. Now that's good, and we want you to do that. We want you to serve at those times. But being a servant is who we are. It is our identity. And when we serve others, life change happens and it glorifies God. So do you want to be great? Do you want to be great at home? Serve your family. It really does start there. Do you want to be great at work? Serve your coworkers. Do you want to be great in the kingdom of God? It starts with humility and serving others, being servant of all. And that's what it means to be great in the kingdom of God. God bless you.